after 40 years of growing in and around London with luxury service apartments at prime locations, Cheval Collection is now set to expand its footprint not just within the UK but also overseas. It will open a property in Dubai within a few months and is also eyeing countries in Central Europe for setting up new high-end properties. Doug Greenwood, Director of Sales and Marketing, says India is already among its top 10 source markets but he is looking to double the share of the Indian market through active promotion in India. Greenwood adds that Cheval Collection is ideal for various segments including leisure, corporate and wedding and that he is trying to grow the appeal of the brand among Indian golfers. So Cheval has been operating actually uh, for 40 years. We're just in our 40th anniversary. So we've had a very nice celebration for our birthday in October. Um, most recently though, in the last couple of years, we've been looking to expand the brand. Uh, the properties that we've been owning and operating in London have worked incredibly effectively. And we're now looking to actually expand into other regions. Uh, the greatest news and probably the news that you've heard most recently is the 131 apartments that we're opening in Dubai. Um, this will obviously be happening in the spring of next year, 2023, so we're delighted about that expansion. The other expansion that we've got actually is into Glasgow. So we are looking at extending our brand to a Cheval Maison, which will be Regent Street. That's opening in 2025. And we've also got a Myla Kanda product that's opening at a similar sort of time in terms of 2025, which is 168 apartments. Um, and that Myla Kanda brand is supplementing what we're doing within the, the context of the Maison brand and also the Cheval Residence brand. So we have 675 apartments currently operating. Um, obviously within the apartment there may be one, two or three bedrooms uh, attached to each. So we're quite lucky in terms of the diversity of the product. Um, with the situation in terms of going through the pandemic, we still operated and we were able to uh, manage that situation quite well because of the long stay nature of our product. But actually coming out of that, there has been a huge uh, pent up demand for people to travel. Um, we are probably running on average in the mid 80s in terms of occupancy and so uh, that occupancy has primarily been driven from all sorts of source markets. The key market obviously for us is the UK but also the USA and of course we're delighted to see that there's great potential for us to expand into the Indian market uh, and particularly now with this new opening in Dubai. Five years from now, we would love actually to be acquiring between four and five properties actually every year. So to extend our portfolio by another 25 actually within the next five year uh, period. And that will be uh, covering the brands in terms of the residence brand, the Maison brand and the Myla Kanda brand. Uh, the areas that we're looking for are primarily within the sort of Central Europe area, extending around Europe, but also down towards the Middle East. Uh, the Middle East is a great uh, hotspot for us in terms of where we're currently looking at the moment. But we wouldn't preclude other expansion in terms of other zones. But our main focus is that European and Middle Eastern area, the EMEA area. Yeah, the Indian market is, a, it is actually quite a significant market for us. So from a nationality statistic perspective, um, India comes within the top 10 of our uh, nationalities. We see a great opportunity actually to grow that in terms of our market share, uh, primarily through potentially through corporate, through leisure. We see the opportunity for wedding business. So this aspect of uh, the outbound market coming particularly into Dubai and hopefully then into the UK, uh, we also have seen a little growth actually even within the golf market for Scotland. Um, and of course we've got three properties up in Edinburgh which which really lend themselves to uh, golf vocational uh, opportunities. But that mix of corporate and also leisure uh, is providing uh, a huge opportunity for growth for us. But also it's the fact that we are offering a much more diverse product with service departments. So it's not a traditional hotel, it's got the flexibility of having 
your full on, fully equipped kitchens, lounge spaces. People can actually hold meetings in that sort of space. We've actually seen uh, the average length of people's stay extending by three or four days. So of course what people are doing is they're combining those shorter trips, I think, with leisure. And of course the service department uh, sector and ourselves in terms of Cheval are perfectly aligned for that. So we're extremely lucky to work um, with a representation company called Track in India. Um, they have offices in actually in Delhi and in Mumbai. And so we're actively um, in the marketplace at the moment. We've got a proactive sales team that are working in terms of that market with the agent side of things. But we've also got um, a good marketing support element with social media. Next year, we're also delighted to be um, taking a stand at the Sarte exhibition in February. And again, this is a great um, opportunity for us to get our brand into the marketplace. We're, we're doing a little bit of both. We will do the B2B bit, um, but also the B2C element if we possibly can. But primarily, we know the expansion will come through, the greater volume will probably come through the B2B side of things. So, um, the very fortunate thing that we see from certainly the Indian market that we've got at the moment is there is a very good spend as far as our apartments are concerned. Um, some of our apartments have got the most amazing locations in London, for instance, just in Hyde Park, that Hyde Park area. Um, we found that actually that, that sits really well with the Indian market in terms of um, that there's an element of affordability to it. But we also have apartments which come in at a different uh, price point, which, are, which also sit within West London or actually around the city. And also up in Scotland, the, uh, the accommodation there is extremely affordable. We, uh, we're talking in terms of um, the percentage or rather the uh, revenue element of what's coming through. India probably is contributing about 5-6% uh, in terms of our revenue figure. Um, but ultimately what we'd like to see is getting that well into a double digit number, which would really work well for us then. So from a segment bit, um, we obviously would love to expand, obviously there's various segments that we'd be interested in, the leisure, the corporate, uh, certainly the wedding market going into perhaps uh, into Dubai. But I think most interesting is the golf piece. Uh, so for Scotland, um, we're so well aligned in terms of being able to uh, look after and cater for the, there's some great golfing associations in India. Uh, we've been talking to quite a few of them and what we're trying to do is put packages together so they can um, promote really local golf around the Edinburgh area but there's a huge number of fantastic golf courses around Scotland. We also see that doubling where potentially people might come into London, have a few days in terms of R&R where they might be spending the recreational bit in London and then moving up then up to, uh, to Scotland for the golf. Our competition uh, sits really within the hotel space. We're eating more and more, or getting more and more into the market share that obviously traditionally hotels have been offering. Um, hotels, I think, are also diversifying into the apartment space as well. Uh, from the current portfolio that we have, uh, certainly within, say, Edinburgh, we're very much within the luxury side of things, as we are in London. Uh, Dubai will be the same. We will be in that upper end in terms of the focus that we have on service, on quality, but also on just delivering really good value for those customers.